Dear friends, let us see lecture number two. Chapter number six. Application of derivative. Among last time we already seen some problems. Today we are going to see more examples. Now see here. So that So that y is equal to log 1 plus x minus 2x upon 2 plus x, x greater than minus 1. This condition is given because of then and only then this log function is defined. Is in increasing function for for increasing function of x increasing function of of x throughout its domain through out its domain. Clear that we want to prove here. See here we don't want to prove an increase strictly increasing function, but here we want to prove that it increasing function. And we know that f dash x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x in a given range, then it is increasing function. But if f dash x is positive, then it is decreasing, sorry, strictly increasing. And whenever f dash x less than or equal to 0, then it is decreasing. And whenever f dash x less than 0 only, then it is strictly decreasing function. Here we want to see that it is an increasing function. So y is equal to log 1 plus x minus 2x over 2 plus x with the condition x greater than minus 1. So differentiate with respect to x, what is divided by dx? 1 over 1 plus x minus denominator quantity whole square, denominator quantity as it is, derivative of numerator is 1, numerator as it is, derivative of denominator quantity is 1. So that is equal to 1 plus x minus 4 plus 2x minus 2x upon 2 plus x whole square. So that comes out 1 plus x minus 4 over 2 plus x whole square. Now take LCM. What will be the LCM? 1 plus x into 2 plus x whole square. So here 2 plus x whole square minus 4 into 1 plus x. So that is equal to 4 plus 4x plus x square minus 4 minus 4x over 1 plus x, 2 plus x whole square. Ultimately it comes out x square over 1 plus x into 2 plus x whole square. Now see, if we see on real line, see here on real line somewhere minus 1. Now according to given condition x greater than minus 1 is given. So somewhere 0 comes. So x greater than minus 1 implies x square greater than or equal to 0. Yes or no? Yes. Here. Now say result number 1. Now, for all x greater than minus 1 implies x square greater than or equal to 0 and 1 plus x is positive and 2 plus x is also positive. Clear? So, by 1, dy by dx is greater than or equal to 0. For all x 
belongs to minus 1 to infinity. Greater than minus 1, that is minus 1 to onwards up to positive direction. And therefore, given function is an increasing function. Increasing function in its domain minus 1 to infinity. Is it clear to all of you? Yes. Let us see next example. Find values of x or find intervals for which for which y is equal to x into x minus 2 whole square is an increasing function. Is a example number 8, exercise 6.2. Sum of textbook, this function is by print mistake it is given that y is equal to x into x minus 2 whole square. No. See, this part is misprint. In sum of textbook it is given in this way, but correct form is this one. y is equal to this much. Clear? So, let us start y is equal to x into x minus 2 whole square that is y is equal to x square minus 2x whole square. So, what is dy by dx? 2 into x square minus 2a into derivative of x square minus 2a that is 2x minus 2. Take 2 common so 4 take x here common x into x minus 2 into x minus 1. This is result number 1. What we want? Where is an increasing function? Not strictly increasing, but greater than or equal to. That thing we want to find. But see, calculate in, in general, where it is 0, so minus infinity to x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2 and up to infinity. So, how many parts are there? See, let us consider first part. x belongs to minus infinity to 0. For x belongs to minus infinity to 0, x is less than 0, it is less than 1, it is less than 2. So, this implies x minus 1 less than 0, x minus 2 less than 0 and this implies x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 is less than 0 and therefore by 1, by 1 divide by dx is less than 0 for all x belongs to minus infinity to 0 and therefore in minus infinity to 0 it is strictly decreasing function yes or no as per our question we don't want this part but when we are solving in general questions so we need to mention it now second part where to where we have to consider let us consider from 0 to 1. For 0 less than or equal to x less than, and once again it is less than 2. This says that x greater than or equal to 0, x minus 1 less than or equal to 0, x minus 2 less than 0. So this says that x into x minus 1 into x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. 
and therefore by 1 what we get dy by dx is equal to this much that is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to close interval 0 to 1 and therefore in close interval 0 to 1 given function is an increasing function is an increasing function clear yes next interval comes out where to where see let us see next interval from where to where that is 1 2 2 close interval 1 2 2 see next part 4 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 this says that x greater than 0 x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 x minus 2 less than or equal to 0 ultimately x into x minus 2 or x minus 1 which is less than or equal to 0 and therefore by 1 divided by dx is less than or equal to 0 so in this interval in interval 1 to 2 given function is decreasing a decreasing function next last part where to where we have to see we have to see from where to where we have to see from 2 to onwards greater than or equal to 2 now for x greater than or equal to 2 that is greater than 1 greater is greater than 0 this implies x into x minus 2 into x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 and therefore by 1 dy by dx is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to close interval 0 to open infinity so where it is increasing and therefore in close interval to to infinity given function is an increasing function clear what is our aim our aim is to discuss where it is an increasing function <coughs> so where it increasing in close interval 0 to 1 as well as in close interval sorry in interval 2 to infinity and therefore given function is an increasing function in close interval 0 to 1 and in 2 to infinity that is our a to discuss this question where it is increase or where it is decrease now see next one prove that y is equal to four sin theta upon two plus cos theta minus theta is an increasing function of theta in close interval 0 to pi by 2. See, once again, what we need to do? We need to see that whether dy by dx is greater than or equal to 0 or not. So, let us start. Here what is given? Here y is equal to 4 sin theta over 2 plus cos theta minus theta. If we differentiate it with respect to theta, what we get? 2 plus cos theta whole square 
2 plus cos theta as it is, denominator quantity as it is, derivative of numerator 4 cos theta minus 4 sin theta as it is, derivative of denominator quantity is minus sin theta and derivative of theta is 1. So, what we get in numerator 8 cos theta plus 4 cos square theta plus 4 sin square theta over 2 plus cos theta whole square minus 1. Ultimately, it comes out 8 cos theta plus if we take 4 common from this quantity, then we get only 4. 4. And same time taking LCM. 2 plus cos theta whole square. 2 plus cos theta whole square. And that is equal to 8 cos theta plus 4 minus 4 minus 4 cos theta minus cos square theta upon 2 plus cos theta whole square. We get up to this thing. Now that is equal to 8 cos theta. 8 cos theta minus 4 cos theta. That comes out. 4 cos theta plus 4 minus 4 cancel we get minus cos square theta upon 2 plus cos theta whole square that is equal to if I take cos theta common what we get 4 minus cos theta upon 2 plus cos theta whole square say result number 1 now 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to pi by 2 implies cos theta is greater than or equal to 0. Why? In first quadrant it is positive. Also 2 plus cos theta is positive. Clear? Cos theta is greater than or equal to 0. So ultimately this one. Or in other words we can write in that way also cos 0 greater than or equal to cos theta greater than or equal to cos pi by 2 as cos is decreasing in first quadrant. So ultimately comes out 0 less than or equal to cos theta less than or equal to 1 and this implies minus 1 less than or equal to minus cos theta less than or equal to 0. And this implies 3 less than or equal to 2 plus 4 minus cos theta and less than or equal to 4. And therefore, cos theta greater than or equal to 0, 2 plus cos theta positive and same time 4 minus cos theta is also positive. And therefore, by 1, what we get? And therefore, by 1, dy by d theta is greater than or equal to 0. For all theta belongs to close interval 0 to pi by 2. And therefore, given function. Is an increasing function. in close interval 0 to pi by 2. Clear? Yes. Next, our aim is to see, prove that, very simple question, prove that logarithmic function is strictly increasing on on 0 to infinity. Suppose f of x is equal to log function with basis. Therefore, f dash x is equal to 1 by x 
n is greater than 0 for all x belongs to where to where 0 to infinity and therefore f of x is equal to log x is strictly increasing on which interval 0 to infinity clear now see next our aim to see that prove that function prove that the function f given by given by f of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1 is neither strictly increasing nor strictly decreasing on minus 1 to 1 that we want to see now see here f of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1 this says that f dash x is equal to 2x minus 1 if we see one real line minus 1 to 1 let us take this interval they want on that interval so I'm taking in that part so somewhere x is equal to half that x is equal to half for x less than 1 by 2 implies 2x minus 1 less than 0 imply f dash x less than 0 and x greater than half implied 2x minus 1 greater than 0 this implies f dash x greater than 0 and therefore for some value of x in minus 1 to 1 f dash x is not greater than 0 as well as f dash x is not less than 0 and therefore and therefore function f is neither strictly increasing nor strictly decreasing on interval minus 1 to 1 agree with me yes let us see next sum next sum says that which of the following which of the following functions functions are strictly decreasing on open interval 0 to pi by 2 a part cos x b part cos 2x c part cos 3x and d part 10x that is given now see here let us consider for first part suppose f of x is equal to cos x and therefore f dash x is equal to minus sin x now 0 less than x less than pi by 2 it is in first quadrant sin x greater than 0 implies minus sin x less than 0 and therefore f dash x is strictly less than 0 for or x belongs to where to where 0 to pi by 2 and therefore function cos x is strictly 
decreasing in where to where open interval 0 to pi by 2. Next consider suppose f of x is equal to cos 2x. So find out derivative f dash x is equal to minus 2 sin 2x. Now 0 less than x less than pi by 2 in our case angle is 2x. So 0 less than 2x less than pi. So in this interval 0 to pi sin 2x is positive. So minus 2 sin 2x is less than 0 and therefore f dash x is less than 0 for all x belongs to where to where 0 to pi by 2 and therefore function cos 2x is strictly decreasing in 0 to pi by 2. Clear? Next, third part what we want to take suppose f of x is equal to cos 3x. So, what happens f dash x is equal to minus 3 sin 3x. Now, 0 less than x less than pi by 2. So, 0 less than 3x less than 3 pi by 2. So, in this interval, from where to where? 0 to pi, it is not. Now, 0 less than 3x less than pi sin 3x. greater than 0 and pi less than or equal to 3x less than 3 pi by 2 sin 3x is less than 0. So therefore this f dash x is equal to minus c sin 3x is not strictly less than 0 and therefore function cos 3x is not strictly decreasing in 0 to pi by 2. Clear? Yes. Last one. Suppose f of x is equal to fourth one. 10x. So what happens if this x is equal to x square x and we know that that is greater than or equal to 0 for all x only greater than 0 for all x belongs to 0 to pi by 2 in first quadrant and therefore function 10x is not strictly decreasing in 0 to pi by 2. Therefore, what is the answer? And therefore, answer is A and B. So, this well as this well. These two functions are decreasing, strictly decreasing. Clear? Yes. Next example on which on which of the following intervals intervals is the function. the function f given by f of x is equal to x raised to 100 
प्लस साइन एक्स माइनस वन स्ट्रिक के डिक्रीजिंग ए ओपन इंटरवल जीरो टू वन बी पाई बाय टू टू पाई सी जीरो टू पाई बाय टू डी नॉन ऑफ दिस क्लियर दैट इज गिवन टू अस नाउ सी वेरी सिंपल दिस क्वेश्चन एफ एक्स इज गिवन टू अस Here f of x is equal to x raised to hundred plus sine x minus one. This implies f dash x is equal to hundred x raised to ninety nine plus cos x. Say result number one. Now a part. For x belongs to zero to one. Zero less than x less than and one definitely less than pi by two. So x greater than zero and cos x is also greater than zero. So by one, f dash x is greater than zero. Kona mate for all x belongs to open to zero to one, and therefore. In open interval zero to one, therefore function given function sorry given function is strictly increasing. जीरो टू वन आ पार्ट मे सैकंड इंटरवल क्यों आप बी सैकंड इंटरवल अपनी पास क्यों से फॉर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू पाई बाय टू टू पाई सेकंड क्वार्टर दिज इम्प्लाइज पाई बाय टू लेस देन एक्स लेस देन Why? So in this interval, now see, cos function. This implies x greater than zero, definitely. X greater than zero. Hundred x raised to pi by two less than x less than pi. So. Let us see that part. In second quadrant, cos pi by two greater than cos x greater than cos pi, because it is in second quadrant, cos function is decreasing. Yes or no? That is zero greater than cos x greater than minus one. So minus one less than cos x less than zero. So and hundred x raised to ninety nine also x greater than zero. So can we say that in this interval that function? What can you say about uh, that part? Cos x that thing is there, so one plus cos x is greater than zero. One plus cos x definitely. This says x is greater than zero, and 
1 plus cos x cut to thin 0. Now, for x belongs to pi by 2 to pi, this says that x greater than 1. So, x raised to 99 greater than 1, 1 raised to 99, that's it. And this implies 100 x raised to 99 greater than 100, clear. So, 100 x raised to 99 minus 1, which is greater than 99, which is greater than 0. So, this part, f d 6, can be written as in this way, also by 1, also by 1. F dash x is equal to, can I write 100 x raised to 99 minus 1 in one bracket, in another bracket 1 plus cos x, yes, and which is greater than 0, clear, and therefore, given function f is not strictly decreasing means is strictly increasing this part is important for us we have to split f dash x into two parts. So, this is the important for us. Clear? See, what is the next interval? 0 to pi by 2. For x belongs to 0 to pi by 2, x greater than 0 and cos x is also greater than 0 and therefore f dash x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to where to where 0 to pi pi 2 and therefore in interval 0 to pi by 2 given function given function is strictly increasing and therefore answer is D. None of this. See. None of this. Here it is increasing, strictly increasing, here also it increasing, here also it increasing. But in last part it is decreasing. Clear to all of you? Yes. Now see, now you are able to see the illustration number 8 to 30. Now let us give homework. Illustration number 8 to 13 for homework. See, today let us see up to this example. Next time we are going to see other one. Thank you.